weak mindedness had no sense of proportion. And let me not start about the loser deep of mine, Amelia, who had never worked a day in her life. However, I know where my dream is at. I give you my word that I can help. As you know, Sammy, my work is my love. I now propose to help you further. Thank you, thank you, Andrade. Don't interrupt, sit down. This is my proposal. I solemnly give you one of your children and give it a home with me. It will require sacrifice on my part, but as my father always says, duty out of life always good. You must. I can't possibly. Thank you, Nina. I know. You're a fortunate daughter, for it must be a girl, and not one of those other things. will receive private tuition in reading, history, conduct, and above all, speaking. If there's one thing I want to stand for, it's blue's value. I must be proud. There is no question. As now, I am used to taking responsibility for other people's mistakes. Your non vote, Cedric. The sooner you find a good wife, the better. Now, where are our children? Here we are. Stand in line so that I can see you better. Where did I put my glasses? Quickly, quickly, grab my glasses. Speak up, girl. Hello, Cuddly. Oh, <laughs> what an unfortunate face. It must be very hard to get your distance engaged. Do you not have a more pretty girl? Well, perhaps I did. Simon, Simon. Oh, Cedric, I had no idea you had produced such, such an unattractive bunch of females. I saw it directly. Just in three, you can't. Chris, pick up the hat. My, my, what a pretty girl you are. Oh, yes, you'll do her. Come on, it can do any harm to try. What are you doing? Set up, set you can do as your goal. Oh, this is a girl for me. Set up, boys. Set up, scary. But my head. Now you make me, we need you. Now you make me. Oh, there you are, Steph. Yes, ma'am. I'm taking this child with me. Get her ready. Very well. Do not forget that someone has to go with your great aunt. And it cannot be personal, can it? Well, I'm the eldest, I'll go. No, she won't help me, I'll go. You can't just go. Well, I'm entirely satisfied. I will keep my word, sir, if you will keep yours. You must give both children and mother before the month is out. No. What? You cannot only me around if you said it that in any of my children. Yes, Papa, tell her we don't need her money. <laughs>
Then we feed. Off we go. What have you done? I have done nothing, sir. The children have decided amongst themselves. Decided? What? What do you mean? No. There you are, dear. Now you better tell me your name, little girl. Don't be silent, my dear. Stand straight and tell me your name. No, Christiana. Papa, papa. Then, then who? Evangeline. My name is Evangeline. And what a pretty name it is to Evangeline.
without knowing she was not ready and brown, eventually learned to read and walk and talk and write, behave and speak like a lady. She got beautiful clothes and everything she ever dreamed of, except one thing, a family of her own. Little did she know that back at the Browns' home, her beloved Mr. Brown was about to meet his new bride and the children a horrible stepmother. As you will see, Mrs. Quickly was quite an unusual here. 